Most coaches have spots or dot mats, but you can also use chalk if you're on a playground or a driveway. We will be using our dot and spot movement mat for the games and drills in this section. Remember that you can try these exercises on tennis courts, playgrounds, gymnasiums, or any other level surface. Before demonstrating several creative exercise ideas, let's cover some of the basics. First, try the standard hopscotch pattern, seeing how many times you can go from end to end in 30 seconds. Then try one foot hops around the five dots. Alternate feet after each completion of the five dots. Then try the same drill with double foot hops as well. This category of one, two, three patterns help footwork as well as rhythm skills. First, just move forwards in and out of one dot as our young athlete is demonstrating. One step in and two steps out. Then try running in a circle around four dots, in with one foot and out with two feet in a clockwise direction. Another more complex variation is to skip in triplets, one skip in the dot and two skips outside. Finally, try skipping in and out, but in a clockwise direction. This one is a lot tougher than it looks. This next series uses a whistle to create agility and footwork challenges. The first variation has a junior running the dots in a hopscotch pattern forwards and then backwards across two sets of dots and spots. When the coach blows a whistle, the junior simply changes from forwards to backwards or from backwards to forwards. And you can also try a two-foot hop in and out of each dot in a circle around the dots. Then when the whistle is blown, the athlete just changes direction. This concept of drills features two athletes facing one another on a set of dots. Each exercise is timed for 10 seconds or another desired length, depending on the fitness level of the athletes. The first exercise is a simple in with one foot and out with two exercise. The next one is a one foot in and one foot out pattern. Have the children keep count of how many times they step in the dot during the allotted time. Yet a third option of many possibilities is to have them do a one foot in and two feet out pattern with skipping. Well done. This group of exercises requires two athletes. One initiates the skill and the other follows, like a copycat. Since everyone will like to be the leader, just make sure to change roles after each exercise. First comes the hopscotch pattern. Then they challenge each other by skipping. The interesting part of this concept is to let the children have the freedom to use their own creativity without interference. Just have them alternate being the leader and then the copycat. The concept of run-outs and run-ins is to vary the dynamics of movement and agility, as so many sports require. Set up a line that doubles as a starting line and a finish line. Then have the athlete do a run-out, as is now being demonstrated. It's just a simple hopscotch through the dots and a sprint to the finish. The opposite is a run-in. This time, have the junior start at one line and then sprint to the other one, finishing with the hopscotch pattern through the dots. Individual races are also possible with the runouts or run-ins just demonstrated. First, try a one-on-one -on -one race that consists of a round-trip agility drill and sprint, like our kids are now demonstrating. Then, as a relay, have the young athletes tag a teammate. Relays definitely add more fun and camaraderie to any exercise. The movement variations for races and relays are practically unlimited. We are demonstrating with just one team, but again, imagine several teams performing the same exercise side by side.